Hey everyone, this is Nicole Noahsed. Thanks for stopping by the Jelly Bean Soup blog. Today we're going to talk about the new Jelly Bean Soup Mixed the Media products. Uh, it's a really fun collection of mixed media, uh, I want to say tools, but it's really a little bit of everything that you can use on your projects. For my project, we're gonna, I'm going to use the Simple Circle Stencil, the Cream and Green Ephemera Pack, as well as placemats, craft tags, the new file cards, craft tags, some wood sprinkles, and beanboard alphas. So these are those stencils uh, that I just uh, want to show you. This is brand new. I just haven't even tried these yet. So this is my first project with them. You can see the stencil is really flexible and smooth and it's very bendable. Uh, there's a couple different things. There's two that are large sizes and there's a few that are the smaller size here. There's some that are like a stencil like this one and there's a couple that are like a mask. But for this project, I'm going to just stick with a simple circle stencil. Now this is one of the new ephemera packs. This is the green one here. And I'm just going to grab, I have a few pieces already pulled aside that I want to use for my project, but just wanted to share with you some of the items that are in there. You can see there's some really great vintage inspired journaling cards, some cool uh, cards like that play one there, um, some labels, and just some really, really fun pieces. There's also some cork butterflies in this one. Um, there's some buttons and uh, even a metal accent piece that we're going to use on this page. So here's another new thing too, um, is these new craft decorative tapes. Uh, they're craft paper with uh, different things on them. And these are the new craft tags. These ones are the circle shape. I'm going to use one on my page. You can see there's a lot of, there's two different sizes and there's a lot of different shapes. There's some words, there's even some twine included that you can tie onto the tags. So that's pretty cool. I love those tags. Uh, what else here? Oh, these are the new file cards and they all have words at the type, top of them and different uh, kind of ledger style um, paper on the bottom that match with this new Soup Staples 3 collection. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with the circle mask and I'm not actually going to uh, use the stencil on the whole page. I'm just going to take some modeling paste um, and I'm just going to squirt some out and use that on parts, portions of the page. And I did a video tutorial a couple months back uh, showing with the stamps and stencils. So this would be the same kind of technique where you take the modeling paste and just apply it directly over top of the stencil there and make a, a fairly generous coating of wherever you want to have the paste show up. And that's going to create like a cream. In this case, it's cream. So it's going to create like a cream tone on tone effect. And I'm going to leave it as it is, but you could definitely add some, wait for it to dry and then add some gelatos or mist to it to add some color onto that modeling paste. But for my project, I just want to use the cream, so I'm good. I just want to show you about this mask, how easy it is to clean. Just take a simple baby wipe and just wipe it off. I have my, my stencil here on a craft mat, so it comes off really, really easily. Just using a baby wipe to clean everything up. Um, and if you want to, you can, I'm just going to put mine to the side to dry, but you could also wipe it down uh, with a paper towel if you wanted to speed that up. So mine's completely dry now and I have my page kind of planned out. So I want to use this mini placemat here, this placemat here um, in this portion. And I'm going to use some of these tags and just some of, I'm going to only use the ephemera pack to make this page. I'm not going to use any additional pattern paper whatsoever. And just to show you that this package goes a really long way. So I've just cut one of the journaling tags uh, almost in half here. And I'm just going to kind of layer that like paper on my page, and line it up just over top of those um, stenciled dots. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add a whole lot more uh, paper and die cut shapes from that package right onto my page all the way across. And I'm just trying to keep in mind where I'm going to have that placemat later. I'm not sticking it down just yet, but uh, I'm going to add some of these items. And I do, at the end of this video, <laughs> ended up changing uh, just a couple, tilting a few things. Um, but everything is basically the same. And this is just a scrap of my paper here that I had punched a circle out earlier for another project and I just backed it with some more paper. So I'm going to use some of that decorative tape. That's really, really cool tape. And you can see I layered a craft tag here over top of one of the label stickers and I just added a brad just to fill that hole. And so I'm just going to go ahead and just keep layering items. I don't add a lot of adhesive to the whole back of the tag just so I can keep tucking things under if I do that I want to. So I printed off a few pictures. You can see that they're smaller because the inside of that uh, 
placement I think is about two and a half by two and a half square. And I've cut down some pieces of the tags in the ephemera pack just to fit inside those holes. And you can see I was kind of rude to my poor cork butterfly. It's very, very delicate. So I just added some tape runner and then stuck it back on and it's perfect. You can't even tell that it actually uh, came apart. So I'm just gonna add a tiny little amount of adhesive and just lay this in place so I could get my photos and fill those squares up. So here's where I'm just gonna start building things on my page. Um, I've already done a few ahead of time. You can see that's another punch circle over with a butterfly over top. And once you kind of have each square um, with the paper that you want underneath, just go ahead and add some more adhesive inside. And I love the new the wood sprinkles, so I'm addicted to those right now. So I use a lot of those for my projects. And I'm just going to go ahead and tuck in my photos. And you can see they're not two and a half by two and a half. I've actually left them large because they can overhang down into that extra space on the Polaroid type of frame. And anything that uh, has a die cut word cut out of it, um, don't worry too much about that right now. You can always add a piece of paper. And I'm going to add something else over top of that later just to fill in that space. So I'm going to try to stick this photo in here. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it, but put it in there for now. Okay, so now that I have that done, I'm just going to grab more pieces from my ephemera pack. These are really, really great because the ephemera pack has all different sorts of things. You can see there's smaller items and larger items. Some are really, really great for layering, like uh, this little ruler here um, is perfect. Same with these little tiny, I want to call them lunch market tags, because you know when you go to lunch to get lunch meat for your kids for school, you have to go to the deli. But anyways, that's a cool shape. And I'm going to tuck in one of these uh, new file cards that are really, really cool. I love those. And I'm just going to trim off a couple pieces of that craft tape and just peel it off. You just peel off the back has a sticky back to it. And I have short nails, so it's hard for me to get it off, but I do eventually get it off just to fill in some of that space there. And I've just cut them into a bit of a pendant shape at the end. And I love the ones here with the different words on it. There's different phrases all throughout the, the roll, which is really, really cool. And you can see that the larger tags and the craft tags uh, fit perfectly inside that mini pla mini placement area. So I added one of those. I think it looks awesome. And there's that metal flower that was in the ephemera pack and I've just taken some of the buttons that are in the package and I'm going to add them into the page. Same with one of the stampable wood hearts. I'm just going to leave it natural and not stamp it at all. I'm just going to take some of that twine that's in the in the uh, tag pack and all I do is loop it around my fingers and then pinch it in the middle and give it a little staple and stick it in the middle. You could also add the glue dot to hold it together. Often I don't even put anything in the middle. I'll just add like a clothespin or paper clip or something instead. So that's my tiny little tip for you today is how to make an easy bow without tying anything. And I'm just going to cover up those words there from earlier, the die cut words with that craft paper tape. I'm just going to rip off a quick little piece and quite simply just lift it up and stick it right onto the front of my photo because that doesn't bother me at all. If it bothers you and you don't want to have things stuck to your photo, then you should just trim your photo off a little bit smaller. Okay, so that's generally the uh, my page. I need to fill in this spot here. That photo I had earlier just didn't seem to fit the, the two boys' faces were kind of cut off and I didn't like that. So I'm trying to think of what I want to put in there and I'm going to add a couple of these green bean board alphas that I love. I'm just going to add a couple up into the corner and just put in an extra piece of paper from one of the journaling cards just to fill up that square because that photo just wasn't working for me. Now the, the buttons in the ephemera pack are really vintage looking and I, I firmly am one to believe there should be no naked buttons on a page. So I just have some natural twine that I'm just tying through and adding a glue dot to the back and then just trimming off any excess twine just to stick those easily onto my page. And so that's pretty much my page in a nutshell from start to finish. So I'm going to show you a couple close-ups here of the embellishments just so you can kind of see them. 
So there's those buttons and that uh, awesome metal piece in the kit, the ephemera pack, and those cards are a nice big size. You could use them for so many things. And I really love the new stencils. I'll have to admit I'm a bit of a chicken when it comes to that kind of stuff, but it's so easy to use that I do encourage you to give it a try. And there's my finished page. So I just want to say thanks again for stopping by the Jelly Bean Soup blog, checking out our videos, and we will see you next time. Have a great day.